Begin official recording for SCP-060, also known as the Infernal Occult Skeleton. Object class is defined as Keter. SCP-060 is a grove of 17 white oak trees. The grove is spread across approximately 8 acres in rural northeastern Minnesota. A house on the property was demolished during the construction of Satellite Site 66-060 after being combed by Foundation personnel for information regarding SCP-060. When burned, SCP-060 will produce an entity henceforth designated SCP-060-Alpha. SCP-060-Alpha appears to be an animate adult human skeleton standing approximately 2.3 meters tall and surrounded by bright white flames. SCP-060-Alpha initially burns at a temperature of approximately 1500 degrees Celsius or 2730 degrees Fahrenheit and will attempt to cause as much damage as possible when active. Burning as little as 20 grams of SCP-060 will cause SCP-060-Alpha to appear. Only one instance of SCP-060-Alpha will appear at any time. It is theorized that 060-Alpha is a unique entity. SCP-060-Alpha is extremely dangerous, having proven to be hostile and relatively intelligent. It appears to be a single recurring entity, showing a growing familiarity with Satellite Site 66060's layout over the course of several manifestations. When given the opportunity, it will throw itself bodily at flammable materials in an effort to cause damage and assault personnel with a focus on grappling and strangulation. Additionally, it has proven capable of running at speeds of up to 80 km per hour or 50 miles per hour in short bursts and leaping approximately 5 meters from a running start. Due to the extreme temperatures produced by 060-alpha during the initial stages of manifestation, along with its physical capabilities, it is capable of causing large, uncontrolled fires and widespread property damage if left unchecked. SCP-060-Alpha appears to intentionally avoid burning instances of SCP-060 when it becomes active. SCP-060-Alpha is introduced to a high enough volume of water or other flame retardant material over a short amount of time that will begin to weaken to the point that it will collapse into dust. Collapse will occur suddenly with little warning. SCP-060-Alpha will continue to pose a threat up until its collapse. The volume of suppressive material required to subdue SCP-060-Alpha is markedly less than would be expected to quench a heat source of its intensity, with volumes of approximately 500 liters proving sufficient. Areas burned by SCP-060-Alpha will begin to yield sapling instances of SCP-060 over the following 4-6 to six weeks. Only one wave of sapling growth will follow any given containment breach. Said saplings are easily pulled and should be composted and supplied to SCP-060's normal containment chambers. Additional information regarding 060. The property containing SCP-060 contained a burned out secluded house upon Foundation acquisition. According to civilian sources, the house's previous owner was Jonathan Corhill, who is reported to have been a somewhat solitary eccentric with a tendency towards bitterness and nihilism. Mr. Corhill was reported as a missing person in late 1996, several months after having suddenly cut off all ties to family members and friends. The last person to have had contact with Jonathan Corhill was his brother Christopher via a telephone call. According to his brother, Corhill had developed an interest in the study of Victorian era occultism. Furthermore, he reported that Jonathan Corhill had seemed normal up until the phone call, at which point he told Christopher never to contact him again. Later in the year, a mail carrier visited the home to deliver a notice of foreclosure, finding it instead as a burned-out shell. Examination showed that the fire began in the living room in the general vicinity of the fireplace. It is now assumed that SCP-060-Alpha manifested within the house while Corhill burned SCP-060 in the fireplace. Considering SCP-060-Alpha's nature, why the house was not entirely destroyed during the alleged manifestation is of yet unknown. No human remains were found within the structure. Jonathan Corhill's whereabouts and whether he is dead or alive are currently unknown.